Welcome to lesson number two on scientific argumentation. Our objectives differentiate between a claim, evidence, and reasoning, and construct a scientific argument. So why do scientists make arguments? Well, they do this to convince others what they believe is true. So for example, we may have one scientist arguing that global warming is occurring, and another scientist arguing that it is not. So then how do we know which argument is correct or is more appropriate? Well, when we build a scientific argument, there are three parts. One is the claim. The next thing is the evidence that you collect. And the last thing is the reasoning. Why does your evidence support your claim? And I like to reorder this because really the first thing you do in developing a scientific argument is you gather evidence. And from that evidence, then you make a claim. And then we justify that claim with our reasoning. And those three things build a solid scientific argument. So let's figure out what is evidence. Well, evidence is your scientific data that you collect that's appropriate and sufficient to support the claim you're ultimately going to make. The claim, therefore, is then a statement that you believe to be true based upon that evidence that you just collected. And lastly, how do we justify that? Well, our reasoning is a justification that shows why your data counts as evidence to support your claim. And it must include appropriate scientific principles, the things we're going to learn about in this course this year. So reasoning links the evidence and data to the claim. Let's check your understanding. Can you differentiate between a claim, evidence, and reasoning? So let's see an example of a scientific argument. If you place a water bottle in the freezer, you collect evidence when you take the bottle out and you notice that the bottle has gotten larger. So your evidence is that a bottle when placed in the freezer, when you take it out, it gets larger. We can make a claim based on that evidence then. So one example of a claim would be when water freezes, it expands. So now the last thing we want for our argument is why is it expanding? What scientific principles are occurring? So the reasoning is, as the bottle stayed in the freezer, the water molecules go from a liquid to a solid. And as they become a solid, they spread out. So the bottle was bigger afterwards since the water inside of it expanded, pushing the bottle outward. And we can even expand upon this reasoning as we learn more about the properties of things like water in this course. This process of building a scientific argument it should be very familiar. Um, this is essentially what you do in social studies. This is building a, um, an argument when we have a document-based question or a DBQ. It's the same thing. You gather evidence, evidence in a document-based question from the text, and then from that you make a claim, and then you justify it. This is the same process. And the only difference is that the evidence we're gathering is going to be usually in a lab setting. So let's check your understanding. Can you construct a scientific argument? At this point, you should be able to differentiate between a claim, evidence, and reasoning, and construct a scientific argument.